I'm going to show you how to tip a flange using this Bailey bead roller. First you lay out your mark from the edge. I use my finger to set the distance. I just picked a random number. These are some tipping dies that Hammerfab has designed. They're made out of 4140 heat treated steel. They're made to fit this machine and any other machine with a 3 quarter inch shaft. First you score the line. You have just a little bit of tension on the dies. You actually want them to stretch that area or thin it. I got off a little bit right there but that's okay we can correct that. The next pass get it started and then just put a little bit of upward pressure right near where the flange is going to tip to keep that steady angle the whole way now is now's when we corrected that mistake and as you can see we've got a flange that's starting you can also notice that this panel is starting to curve and it's going to curve more but we have to go back and correct that we're going to do the same thing tip a little bit more notice I did not change the pressure of the dies now you can see on this on this side of the the tip or the flange we're starting to create a little bit of a, a rounded radius that we don't really want we want that to be a nice crisp flange so what you do is you put it in here backwards and then you hold this down on the back side and that straightens out that radius side of the flange And this machine has no problem doing what we're doing here. This is 18 gauge mild steel. It's a very smooth machine. We're going to tip it a little more. We're going to yank it because sometimes to get that corner started it's kind of fighting you. And usually once you get into the flange a little deeper it's okay. I love this foot pedal on this thing. Variable adjustment. You can rheostat just like on a TIG welder. So now you can see this panel is curved a lot. We're going to correct that with a shrinker stretcher um, here in a little bit. But for now, we're going to keep uh, dialing in this flange. We're going to straighten out that radius a little bit more. make for a nice crisp flange. See how crisp that is now? Okay. Now these dies that Hammerfab designed, notice they're flush. It, it makes the bolt recess down in there so that you can tip your panel all the way up. Like that. Now we got some wrinklage going on there, but that's just because it's fighting the, the uh, form of the panel here. We want to undo that form by shaping this 3 quarter inch flange. Let's go do it. Okay, this is a Bailey Industrial Shrinker Stretcher, kick, kick shrinker. You can use stretching or shrinking dies. We've got the shrink dies in here right now. And what this does is it grabs the metal with some gentle serrations and forces the metal together. Forces the molecules together and 
ends up thickening that flange as it shrinks. There's all kinds of uh, options out there for shrinker stretchers. I found that this Bailey one works very nicely, especially for the budget. You've uh, only got so much to spend, you want the most bang for your buck, this machine is a good machine. See it's straightened out significantly. Come to one of our metal shaping seminars and we'll show you how to do this and much, much more. Visit hammerfab.com or go directly to market.com, that's mkt.com slash hammerfab. Thank you for watching.